Nearly two years into this pandemic, many industries are still dealing with COVID burnout. Healthcare systems hit especially hard, but testing labs are getting crushed. The demand for tests has skyrocketed, as we all know, and now many of the labs that process the tests are having trouble keeping up because their workers have the Rona too. And before you think this is all about COVID, consider that these same workers also screen for other diseases. And without those results, doctors can't make very important decisions for their patients. The impact is far reaching. Here's CNBC's Kate Rogers. At a time when testing has never been more important, medical laboratory professionals behind the scenes are in short supply. At AU Health in Augusta, Georgia, the hospital system is short 43 full-time lab professionals. And that's even after 30 workers came out of retirement to help. Immunology Lab Director Brandy Gunsel has told us workers are burning out and leaving. They feel like they don't have enough support and that primarily stems from not enough individuals. They're like, I'm doing all of this and I feel like I'm doing it by myself. It's heartbreaking when you have a shift and you know that you need five people on that shift, but you can only staff it with two because that's all you have. The nature of the job requires highly educated workers. Many of them have not only bachelor's degrees, but master's, PhDs, and are board certified. But the annual median salary for those with bachelor's and associate's degrees in 2020 was just $54,000. Texas State University professor and industry advocate Rodney Rohde says the lack of pay, coupled with retirements and a lack of funding for training, has made getting new talent into the pipeline a challenge. And not only are these workers running PCR tests for COVID in hospitals, they're also working on diagnosing other critical conditions like cancers. The shortage creates a ripple effect for all those in need. When you have this type of shortage going on across all areas, it impacts all patients. So whether it's a person not getting uh, the cancer treatment they need because the hospital is selectively moving on to postponing that, to someone maybe not getting seen in an ER because they're overwhelmed from COVID. One positive for the profession, which is made up of workers behind the scenes, is that the pandemic has shown a light on these workers and the need for more. Many are hopeful that that may help drive new interest in pursuing this important career. Shep? Kate Rogers, thank you.